The Soybean School on RailAirCulture.com is brought to you by High Stick NT, Cruiser Max Beans, and Pride Seeds. Although nodulation is very, very important for the success of your crop, there's other things that we should be looking at when we're scouting. It's a great time. You've now got these plants dug up. You've got the roots in front of you. What else can we see there or what could be confusing you when you're seeing stuff on uh, uh, whether it's a nodule? Uh, if you're in an area that maybe has cyst, the other thing you might want to do is start scouting now. It is a little early to see it, but they look different. They look like little white eggs, whereas your nodules sort of come out, they're a lot bigger than what you'd expect on cysts. So that's something that you could say, oh yeah, I've got lots on there and they're all on these little roots, but it's pro it could be cyst. Uh, so make the differentiation. Nod nodules will be there pretty well on, you know, you'll see it on every field. The other thing you want to look at is any kind of disease that's coming in through those cracks. I, you know, we'd mentioned the cracks being normal, that the plant's just growing fast and splitting, uh, splitting that outside a little bit. Other things that can come in there, so you might want to start looking at Phytophthora rhizoctinia, those type of uh, diseases if it's uh, wet and coming in, you'll see some different coloration there. Um, this is when I like to look at what we've done as far as compaction over the years. Uh, this is the time to figure out how I can fix or change my practices as a grower so that I've got plants and roots that grow really nice and easy through the soil. Anything that we do to limit the soil is limiting yield or limit root growth in the soil is limiting yield. So what are we looking for? Well, if we have a plant that's really curvy, you know, sowing lots of curve in there, it might have been a, uh, more of a crusting issue. You know, you had the soil work too fine, maybe rolled too much, and then heavy rain. So that would be something where this has put a lot of stress on this hypocotyl here uh, as it was extending out. Also, it would be very, very thick. So if it had to do a lot of pushing to get out of the soil, this would be a lot thicker. And it could be up to the size of your finger in size. That means it had to do a lot of work to get through the soil. So how do we manage our soil next year so that we don't run into that crust or heavy compaction causing that hypocotyl to thicken out those beans getting out of the ground slow uh, always cause issues. You want to get those beans out as quickly as you can. Within seven days is awesome and we did see that this year. Now the other thing if you want to look at is if we start to see any hooks or crooks or when a soybean root goes straight sideways that's not good that's showing you that we've either got a bit of a plow pan or some crusting uh, i've seen crusting where every plant that you bring out goes on a right angle after after about here on the root you've got right angles going on and then the root going back down because what it did is it went over here and found another crack and then went down lower. That's showing that your soil is very very tight that we got to do some major things at trying to get that soil friability up that it's nice and loose. The other thing is turn your soybean roots around. Once you've got them washed off, if you've done a good job of washing them off and kept them all there and have a, most of them there if, if there's roots coming out all around the plant, that's, that's awesome. That's exactly what you want. You want the, all those roots spreading out in the soil, finding all those nutrients in the water that we need to be able to make that high yield soybean plant that you're looking for. If you start seeing roots only on one side or uh, more like a tomahawk where the roots are going straight up and down, maybe in the row that could be a sign of sidewall compaction. You really want to look and make sure that those roots are spread out evenly around, that they're spreading into the soil and getting everything you want. So sort of the three things that we may see at roots at this time of year is, you know, compaction issues from sidewall, which would give you that tomahawk, or we'd have compaction below, which gives you that sort of right angle and roots doing funny angles rather than sort of really going down. And then you could have something where that uh, hypocotyl really got swollen up. So you have it really thick in here and that's when the, or an even crooked above that sort of little point there where the, you know, where the root, uh, the soybean seed was planted. If it's really thick in there and twisted and everything, you had a, a compaction on the top of the seed and you need to rectify that.